It's starting to look like Halloween around here. I don't think this place is giving out candy. The idea for Halloween coming to life is something that's really never been done in a two hour movie. There aren't a lot of Halloween films that are for families or for kids. Most Halloween based films are like really scary horror films. So we felt like, okay, this is something that hasn't been done yet, probably should have been done a long time ago, and who doesn't want to see their favorite holiday come to life? Haunted Halloween. Did you miss me? Slappy is probably the most popular villain, so to speak, in the Goosebump stories, but as a villain, he's also fun and entertaining. So I think he's a mix of a, of a typical villain and somebody you kind of actually have some sympathy for. I think one of the things that makes him unique also is, unlike some of the monsters, he can talk. So he's not the abominable snowman, he's not the werewolf, you can communicate with him. You discovered a walking, talking dummy and you didn't tell me? Okay, well he seemed like a really nice guy at the start. For audiences coming to see the movie, I hope that they get a fun adventure, they get to see their one of their favorite uh, uh, holidays come to life, and then at the end I walk away feeling good. I think that's the idea. For me, anytime I make a movie, I like to walk away from a movie feeling a little bit better than when I walked into it. So maybe, hopefully, they'll have some costume ideas coming out of the movie, but ultimately, you know, they'll take away the theme, which is, uh, again, the importance of family. <laughs> Sonny, they're just gummy bears. <laughs>